guys, what is going on today? It is your boy T O B Y because it's a brand new video. And today we are going down a slightly different route for when it comes to my review videos. But first, before we go on, Ron Wells, please. We have a new intro and outro! Let's go! For the past month or so, I have had one of the best experiences, and it's all thanks to this. Now, what is this? It's an alternative to having an energy drink. And obviously, as a gamer, and also when it comes to creating videos to obviously entertain you guys, and also when it comes to my everyday life, this was a very, very good attention seeker towards me. And honestly, this was just absolutely great. Now, you're probably thinking I'm just rambling on about the company, but the most important thing is what got my attention. Now, it wasn't one thing, it wasn't two things. It was actually three important things that got my attention first of all you've got the logo now of course as you can see it's obviously a bunny but with the fact that it's very eye-catching and you know it's appealing um towards sort of like the generation of today it's going to be something that's going to get everyone sort of attention towards the sort of like audience because like i said this is mostly towards gamers and also anyone that wants to have a much more better energy boost in life um of course the second um reason why i obviously decided to go for this is like i mentioned before obviously with the fact that this is low calorie and no added sugar uh towards this i think literally if we have more energy drinks like this this would pretty much change the whole future of um sort of like how the world is currently going for at the moment which i honestly think is absolutely great for people that are on this and hopefully for more people that are also going to be interested towards all this as well now of course the third and last um thing that caught my attention is also the thing that i'm going to be reviewing on today the flavors now <clears throat> with the flavours, there's obviously 10 of them that I've tried before, um, and uh, yeah, obviously when it comes towards it, I found them all rather different, and also I found them all quite nice, um, but yeah, this is my top 10 uh, towards the uh, flavours that I've had uh, through this experience, and I hope uh, you get the chance to enjoy them as much as I have. Now guys, before I go in towards the listing, I will let you know that like all my other review videos that this is based on my opinion only. Obviously, if you like uh, any other flavours and you feel like they're probably somewhere a little bit higher or lower, then obviously please let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, also, give me your listings as well um, and see if there's anything similar as well. If you have obviously tried the drink, um, if not, like I said, I will uh, put the link in the description below for the website for you to actually try out uh, your experience in Tours of Snake as well. Uh, plus, not to mention as well, not only do they serve uh, the energy drink um, related stuff, they also do their own merch as well. So they've got hoodies, um, they've also got the uh, gift cards as well. Uh, we've also got the chance to get some t-shirts. I would like to get some of my own. Um, but obviously, yeah, I'll have to wait for when it comes to uh, when I'm when it comes to funds and everything like that. But yeah, hope you enjoy the video and let's crack on. So, number ten, it's a flavour called Stealth. Now, obviously, by the package, as seen right on the middle of the screen there. Um, we obviously 
know all this towards the fact that this is towards sort of like the in-game, the gamer sort of like audience. Um, now, the appearance with its sort of like neon green sort of like um, liquid, sort of like similar to sort of like the uh, like slime that you normally get, you know, the uh, stuff that you normally get in pots, that sort of colour green. Um, very nice um, look, but the taste, however, was a bit, I don't know, it, was a, it didn't really taste of anything. Um, sort of like one of those weak Red Bull slash Monster knockoffs that you normally get um, in the cans. Um, I mean, it didn't even taste that much of anything. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if you guys are into the whole um, sort of like Monster or Red Bull, then maybe obviously feel free to go for this sort of drink. But for me, unfortunately... It just wasn't my, uh, it wasn't in my uh, favourites at this point. Number nine was a flavour called Tropicilla. Um, sort of had a bit of a, sort of like, well, it kind of says it in my name, really. It's a tropical vibe towards it. Um, kind of like similar to the sort of like tropical um, monster flavour or even the Mango Loco. Um You've also got that, plus also the Rockstar ripoff as well from that flavour as well. Um, I did like the flavour, but it just kind of was a little bit dull, to say the least. Um, obviously, you do get the tropical taste, but it doesn't give a lot of, like, whoa. Like, you don't get all the sort of, like, mixed flavours. You kind of just get, like, one. And obviously, if it's... A tropical based drink you kind of want to make sure you kind of taste not just one sort of like tropical fruit but like many others on your palate because that's the one thing you kind of got to realize as well not only is it, this drink suitable towards obviously making you have an energy boost you kind of want to have the experience of the sort of like taste on your palate and um, so yeah I mean it was nice, but it wasn't as uh, great as what is about to come up. So, number eight uh, was a flavour by the name of Sour Apple. Um, now, of course, if you guys haven't tried the Apple Lucasade, um, or if you have tried it, then this flavour will kind of have a sort of like similarity towards a sort of like weak version. Um... It has got a bit of a bite to it, so you know you kind of get the sort of like sourness of the apple, but it's kind of not as sweet as what you normally would expect a sort of like sour apple based drink. I know it's obviously with the fact that it's low calorie and also with no sugar, which is probably the reason why. But I have had other drinks in this um, sort of like experience that have been a little bit more on the sweeter side, and true to obviously its name. Now, number seven uh, was a flavour called Purple Storm. Um, this was actually my first ever flavour that I ever tried during, obviously, when I first joined up with um, drinking Sneak Energy drinks. Um, and if you are a massive, massive fan of the Vimto uh, squashes or the uh, fizzy drinks, then this will probably be right up your alley, guys. It tasted just like what everyone thought it was um it was nice and fruity um i kind of wished i kind of put it a little bit higher but there's so many flavors and i mean it was great but it wasn't as great as the ones that i've got um obviously coming up number six was the infamous strawberry millions flavor now like the sweets um is kind of what the uh, flavour is originated from. Um, when I tried it, it was a little bit too sweet. Like, it was kind of like... It, I know it'll probably end up reminding a lot of people of childhoods of just like, you know, just getting a massive tube and then just trying to get down as many of them as possible. But it was just a little bit too sweet. I mean, the sweetness could have kind of been a little bit turned down a little bit you know um 
like it was nice it was very it was nice um but like i said it was just a bit too uh like you kind of want it sort of like evened out when it comes to the taste so you kind of get the sweet flavor but also you kind of get the sort of like buzz out of it as well um and unfortunately it was just a bit too much on the uh, sweet side for me now number five uh ironically another millions flavor um but it was the bubble gum uh very nice uh kind of had sort of like a nice evened out um on the sweetness and of course it did taste exactly like having the bubblegum millions um and i mean this is obviously like my own opinion of course um but between obviously the strawberry millions sweets and also the bubblegum millions ones obviously i do like the bubblegum ones more because you know bubblegum sweets are just amazing um if you guys also agree with me you'll probably end up also preferring um those ones um but of course that is my opinion um so um you never know <laughs> so number four was a very interesting flavor um by the name of strawberry watermelon now imagine taking those haribo straws or strawberries and then also one of those fizzy watermelon sweets and kind of doing what um uh, ratatouille does and kind of like sticks them both together um now of course imagine eating that and then imagine that kind of being in drink form um because that's exactly what it was it was very very delicious um definitely got the sort of like buzz that i needed plus also with the fact that you can taste both fruits you can taste the strawberry you can also taste the hint of watermelon as well it was so nice and also with uh like similar to uh the strawberry millions one which i think i may have actually forget to mention with the appearance um you kind of get the nice sort of um uh like pale pink sort of um color and like I said before, it was absolutely delicious. Um, but yeah, uh, if you are into that sort of thing as well, um, yeah, that is definitely one that I would like to try again. Now, the top three. Um, number three to start off with um, was uh, this amazing flavour, um, which uh, kind of reminded me of one of my favourite old energy drinks, uh, which was... Um, uh, the cherry bomb uh, now one of my favorite all-time energy drinks was the cherry lucasades uh, that you normally get in stores um, and because of the fact that as i mentioned previously uh, you can obviously add still water or sparkling water now if you add sparkling water you've basically got um, a, a sugar-free low calorie uh, cherry lucasade and it was so so nice it just brought so many memories after having that drink it was so delicious um and that's the reason why it deserved uh, being on top three um obviously once you see the next couple of flavors you know uh, or the last two you'll understand the reason why it kind of went into that position because when it came to doing this listing it was a very very difficult decision on some of these flavors so Number two, this one was a very, very difficult decision for me. Um, it was, of course, a blue raspberry flavour. Now, this one was probably one of the most amazing experiences that I have had for my whole history of having sort of like drinks down my, when it comes to having it towards my palate you know um definitely had a sort of like similar taste to the tango ice blast that you normally get in like cinemas um the blue raspberry flavor it literally tasted just like that and especially with um the sort of like sparkling water you get that sort of like uh, the fizz in your mouth and it's so so good um i've also been told that um uh, it also kind of reminds people of uh, the uh, blue raspberry flavoured uh, Jolly Rancher sweets. 
Now, I haven't had Jolly Ranchers in years, and you're probably not going to like me for this, guys, but I haven't had the blue-flavoured Jolly Ranchers. So if you guys end up trying this flavour out, and obviously when it comes to um, having the Blue Ranchers, uh, please, if you think there is some sort of similarity, let me know, because I am looking forward to hopefully trying the Blue Jolly Ranchers too. And now... Number one, by far, one of the most amazing flavours that has come into my experience of drinking Sneak Energy drinks. And weirdly enough, it's also brand new. It's not been that long since it's been out. And um, it's, of course, the Neon Punch flavour. Now, this one, in my opinion, was the Pele of all of the flavours. Um, it had a really nice sort of like taste towards it, plus also with the neon green appearance, like similar to ones that I've mentioned before. Um, it kind of uh, looked, the smell was just empowering. You could literally taste, you could smell um, sort of like pear. You could taste a few other fruits in there as well. Very, very potent. And when it came to the taste, it literally tasted as it smelled. You, like I said, you can literally taste so many fruits in there. You can have a bit of pear. I think there was probably even a little bit of passion fruit towards it. Sort of like giving it that sort of like nice, sort of like uh, sweet taste that you normally get in like say a punch at the prom or something like that, or even at a wedding. But it was just so delicious, guys. And I honestly hope if you end up getting the chance to trying any of these flavors that if you end up liking this one, you agree when it comes towards it deserving its spot where it is um but yeah uh that's pretty much all i have to say to that guys and um yeah <laughs> hey guys that was my top 10 listing for the flavors for the sneak energy drink if you wish to go through the same journey as me you can click on the link towards their website and also their facebook page towards any new merch and also any new flavors that are coming out at some point soon and um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe towards this video and any of my other videos as well and also if you want to be notified towards any new videos in the future if you haven't done so already please don't forget to click that notifications button down below and most of all i'm also going to be needing some new ideas guys so please go and follow my Twitter page and also follow me on Instagram. I have put my uh, both account names in the description box in all my videos. So as well as that, um, please also uh, post up some new ideas if you want me to do any reactions or reviews or even unboxings. And as well as that, there's also the comment section down below as well if you wish to also post me some new ideas from there or even anything that you wish for me to improve on. I will be happy to suggestions. Until then, I will see you guys later. Take care and peace.